Hi everyone, we are here today to tell you all the exciting things. You watch the New Life News every week, but listen up because you might miss out this week. Yeah, so please do get ready with your pens, your notepads and whatever you need in order to make a note of all the exciting things we've got coming up. This is the New Life News. So welcome to week two of Love Express. That's our series that we run all the way through February. We look at how we can love better, how God loves us, and all those tricky questions about love and relationships and how we need to deal with them according to God's word. So if you've got any questions and you think there's no way I can ask someone to person, then pick up one of the cards, write it down. Even if it's really complicated, I'm sure we can pray for our leaders to be able to answer it. Pop it in one of the post boxes and we'll try and address that during this month. It's about how we can love better, how God wants us to love better and how we can express God's love in our community. So come along as well. We have some great nights, Sunday nights particularly. They're going to be devoted to certain couples and individuals. So please do get involved. Love Expressed. If you're the parent of a 7 to 10 year old, we have a very exciting Bible club which is going to start, which is called Beach. Be excited about celebrating him. It's starting Wednesday the 22nd of February and it's going to be every Wednesday from 5.30 to 7pm. It's going to be uh, an exciting time of really getting to know God's word and getting to know God himself. So please encourage your, your little ones to come along to that one. Ladies, we are blessed with some wonderful friends and family. I'm sure that you can look around right now and know who your friends are. We speak to them every Sunday. We see them during the week. And what I want to encourage you to do is invite them along to our relaunch of our women's ministry. I'm so excited about this because it is more than just tea and coffee. What you need to understand is that as women, we influence each other. And the women's ministry is about a chance for us to support each other, for praying for each other, to have fun together, to just do life together and be as one be mission filled be purposeful and it's going to be happening on saturday the 11th of march it's going to be happening at new life derby 10 30 in the morning and as i said it's more than just tea and coffee we're going to be looking at what we can achieve together as a body of women in church how we can be full of what god's plans are for us as women we're important to his work so if you've seen these little cards around then pick one up Give one to one of your friends, get them to just put it into their hand and not in the bottom of their handbag and get them to come along. 10.30, there's a five pound charge for lunch, which is going to be great. It's going to be supplied by Sandra, so we know it is going to be great. So please do come along Saturday the 11th of March. So every Wednesday from 10 till 4, the church is open for prayer. You can come along and just spend time in God's presence and have prayer for any needs you might have. Please come along on that day and see Juanita if you'd like any more information. Hey, meet Dottie. Um, Dottie wants to come and play with some friends. So Dottie wants to invite you to our very new fellowship group called Pause for Fellowship, which is meeting on Friday the 24th of February at 7.30, a uh, place to be confirmed. So if you want to come and join us um, and meet some other four-legged Christian friends, um, meet, uh, get in touch via Facebook or contact me via phone or email or any other way or just come and have a word with me in church. Okay. So at New Life, we started off the year with fantastic time of prayer and fasting. We have dedicated ourselves to the importance of prayer and we are making it part of what we do at New Life. So we have 150 intercessors as part of our vision. We're hoping that 150 people will be intercessing on a daily basis for the needs of our community, the needs of our church, the needs of our nation and of our world. Yep, yeah, and we've still got quite a lot of slots available if you could give half an hour per week to uh, praying into new life and covering whatever needs to be prayed for in prayer uh, please sign up at the information point for a convenient slot that you can do on any particular day and every single day that you you're down you will be sent an email with all the prayer needs that you need to be praying into so please go ahead and do that thank you
New Life is awesome and we know that it is. We have some great new people in church and if you are new, then we want to invite you along to a special newcomer's evening. There's so much that goes on and sometimes you miss out because a Sunday is so busy. So come along on Thursday, the 23rd of February. It's just for an hour from 7 till 8 and you'll get to know everything that goes on, how we do things at New Life, how you can get the best out of your faith through some of the ministries that you can get involved in and so it will be wonderful to see you there and also for us to get connected with you. So it's Thursday, the 23rd of February at New Life Derby between 7 and 8 p.m. Tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. till 9 p.m. we have prayer for healing. If you have any spiritual, emotional or physical needs that you would like prayer for, then please come along and use the Home Street entrance. So as a church, we really understand the importance of praying regularly and meeting together to do that. And we have lots of different opportunities throughout the week. And on Monday morning, 7.30 a.m., we have prayer walking in various different locations around Derby. If you're interested, please do head to the information point for more information. It says in Deuteronomy that everywhere you set your foot will be yours. So we need to keep covering our territory in prayer. And then there is also another opportunity for us to come together at New Life Derby. You want to pop to the Home Street entrance from 7am on a Tuesday morning. We cover our city in prayer and we cover our nation in prayer. So please do come along. There are lots of opportunities and these are two great ones. So please make time for them in your schedules. So here at New Life Church, we are looking for an operations manager who would work here in church on a part-time basis. If you think you might be the right person for that job, then please do pick up an application form from the office and the closing date is the 19th of February. So you need to get that done in the next week or so. So there's lots of things. I'm hoping that you're all excited about what God is doing. We're going to have some great ministry starting and all of the exciting meetings together. So don't forget, it's the start of February. So we're hoping that you've picked up your new New Life Times for this month, opened it up and got the new calendar inside. You can switch that out on your fridge when you get home today. Yep, and don't forget after the service to head through to the living room for some tea, coffee and fellowship with someone you may not have spoken to before. And also you can enjoy some nice cakes in Refill, which is next to the living room. And don't forget the proceeds for the sales go to Positive Youth, so fantastic to support that. Yeah, it really is. We've loved doing video news today and we're really hoping that you get something from it. We're heading now into our Love Express series, so we're hoping you have an amazing rest of service, amazing time in God's house, speak to somebody new, have a great time together. See you later. <laughs>